Okay, so this is uh, another person and answers uh, video. Uh, today is uh, 16th uh, December 2022. Um, if I comment, uh, always remember if you have any question uh, and you don't have the money or you don't want to pay for the consultant service, uh, that's private consultant service. Visit any of my videos or post on YouTube channel and then post your questions there. Um, well, if I have time, well, or whenever I have time, I will come, uh, go to the questions, pick some among the questions and respond to. Not every one of those questions or comments I will respond to because there are so many, so I can only do my best. Uh, but if you want a private or uh, personal consultation or response, you want to contact me privately or so, then my number is always on my uh, video description, post, and uh, you know, and the rest. So you can contact me, you pay, then we'll talk. Okay, so let's start with this. This is from Random Videos by Chance Byte. Um, so with a uh, good day please why does my 307 vibrates when I hold brakes I hold brake to slow down um so uh, few things can make it do that a uh, few uh, 40 components uh, number one of course is the brake disc uh, the brake disc if it's bad or uh, if it's a fake uh, well, okay, now we not use the word fake. It's a low low quality brake disc. Let's assume uh, it's a brand new disc, uh, so the surface still looks very good. It has one, but uh, yeah, you could see do that. If it's a low quality disc, then it means most time when they get hot, um, they won't be able to hold the pressure. They get hot. Uh, I just got distracted. So when they get hot and uh, uh, you put the brake pad uh, twice to grip on them, they will be slipping. You know, the pads will slip on the disc when hot. Uh, that is for the low quality brake disc. No matter how good they are or new they are, so they can also do that. So in other words, brake disc can do that. Uh, then brake pad as well. The brake pad as well is not uh, good. Yeah, I can do that, but mostly is the is the brake disc. Um, there are a few other things that can do it. Um, the suspension components, depending on how bad they are, uh, can also make it behave that way. Um, even the CV joint. Uh, can cause it, but the CV joint, uh, when you do that, uh, the symptom will also show itself uh, even when you are not uh, applying brake, uh, like when you want to accelerate, uh, stuff like that. So, a lot of things, but uh, the usual culprit is the brake disc. And the uh, suspension component can do that. So, when I mean suspension, I'm talking about like uh, the bushes on the lower arms and the rest. It's not cost, it's not like a usual copy, but uh, depends on how bad some of those things are. Some bushes there, you know. But uh, what first is to look at your start with your brake disc and rule it out, inspect it. If it's good enough, then you go for other things, check your CV joints and the rest. Um, I, I don't know if I remember it, uh, I think there could be other things, but for now, I just start from this one side first and then work your way down. Okay, so, um, uh, this is, uh, Mido Zizo. Um, so, um, he has asking, which one is better? 42 slash 12 or 35 slash 9 on 5 speed transmission and the engine SN1A. Okay, so I, this um, video I did on um, rear differential on um, 505 uh, Podio V6. Podio 505 V6. Uh, so, uh, so it's asking of 43 slash 12. Um, I'm not sure I, I have come across uh, Pojo uh, 
504-505 with this uh, real differential, these two real differential you mentioned, 43 and 12, or uh, 35 slash 9. I don't think I've come across such. Um, so I don't have this answer. I've talked about, uh, look at the one on the screen, uh, 9S35 uh, or 9S37. Um, so don't know about this one, she said. Maybe it was an error. I don't know. You could do an, ask the question if truly, you know, check it. If you got what you are, you are not sure what you asked or what is posted here is, uh, was wrong, you can retype again then I will attend to it um okay this is from on you go show miracle um uh, see uh, saying this is so enlightening thank you for the information I want to buy a four six and I never knew there is a four six visis until I got to the cast and so I decided to understand their difference says then i saw your video that i've opened my eyes i really lost peace so i would like to buy for services okay uh this is a comment to a video i did on um uh, petrol engines are available in project 406 um you know in other words four cylinder versus the vc engine so um yeah, yeah, there are uh, four six VCs. It's most not everybody know about it. Uh, but uh, fortunately in Nigeria, even people that know about it, they are so fixated on a uh, particular engine, uh, which is the ew 10 g 4 As good as that engine is, it doesn't come close to some other engine in terms of efficiency and um, performance. Don't get me wrong, it's a good engine, you know, but um, there are also some that are uh, I mean, the other ones that are also good and if not better depending on what you want anyway so first is exist first is this is exist. so yeah but the thing is can you find one they are not easily available those vcs uh the uh, in fact the ones you can easily find are the automatic ones the ones with automatic transmission the manual ones is like winning a lot to find one so Good luck. Maybe you're interested in the automatic. In that case, uh, yeah, you can easily find one. Um, yeah, who knows? You could even get manual if that's what you want, depending on how determined you are. Are you buy automatic, convert to manual, anyone? All right, good luck. Um, so let's see. Uh, this is a video I did on. What's this? It says my project for services in the KSTR fault one. Okay, I was responding to a question uh, someone sent. So I did a video concerning 407 uh, issues with the power steering and uh, how to solve the math. I think I'm bothered on how to solve that problem or what, how to diagnose, not necessarily solve, diagnose and most likely solve the problem. So um, if this guy posted two questions or uh, two comments here so let me read the first one uh, this is from uh um so it's good day sir i have a similar issue mine started from the alternator my alternator stopped charging then my dashboard started displaying all sorts of signals like battery steering airbag icon and the triangle icon with apostrophe sign inside um after changing my alternator i later found out that it damaged my compressor uh compressor's coil after fixing that i noticed my power steering is also failing till if i stop working now i've replaced the old pump with another uh, but the pump isn't coming up as a result. My selling remains strong. What is likely the cause? Uh, how do I resolve this, sir? Uh, it's really giving me serious concern because I tested the newly bought pump with a similar 407. I worked, but won't work on my car. Uh, please help me, sir. So um, then there was another comment he made 
uh, after this first one I read, uh, let's look at it. So, the second one was now, uh, you are the best on Pojo. Um, I once tried to diffuse in the engine room and, and I found the fault immediately without any space. And now my ceiling is working perfectly fine. Thank you, sir. You are the best. So, yeah, he watched the video. You know, that's the thing. Uh, most time, most people don't even watch my videos. You know, they just probably read the title and start posting questions. When you look at the title, and if the title suggests that uh, it's probably ha I would, has a solution to your car issue, why not watch the video before you ask the question? Because it probably might find what you, you are looking for in that video. You know, when people are not just um, too impatient and uh, entitled sometimes, some people anyway, not everyone, so, you know, can be so to them, you know, they can't afford to pay or feel for whatever reason they feel they, that they don't want to pay to get solution to their car problem uh, from an expert. Then the expert posts uh, videos for free, you know, explaining some of the issues people come across and how to diagnose and solve them in most cases, depending on you know, the subject at hand. And, uh, Post them only for the same people who come back and say, oh, your videos are too long, uh, too long to watch, uh, it's very boring, this and that. I demand you, 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 I call you, you pick up your phone and uh, spend your next one hour, 20 minutes uh, listening to my car issues. And you spend all your time quacking your brain to give me my solution for free. So that after I solve that one, the next time I call you again, not irrespective of how many other hundreds of people that are also calling as I'm calling so that can, they can talk to that same person for free. Because that person doesn't have any life, he doesn't have his own private life, he doesn't have anything. So he's, a, he's not supposed to make any money if people is, are requesting for his service, uh, you know. So I feel entitled. I'm not going to watch the one you do for free because it's too boring. So if I'm not sincere, I, I don't want to pay to call contact you privately. Uh, I say I have to call you and how dare you to, to choose not to respond to my call. You're a wicked person to not to solve my problem for free. You know, humans, anyway, I know how to deal with the such people anyway. If you want to call, I'll, you're just wasting. I'm just, sometimes I block people. I don't waste my time. You know, so yeah, he found the solution he was looking for in the video. I saw his problem. Other people who are busy bitching about uh, how long the videos are keep doing that. Uh, it's not my problem. Well, remember, you are the one that have the problem, not me. So if you want, keep uh, jumping for one local or quack mechanic, they keep complicating matters when the solution is right there, for, even for free for you to uh, look for, get it, and solve your issue. Anyway, so at least uh, good luck and um, congrats for solving your problem by yourself. You have, if from what I could tell from the video, I explained maybe so how to diagnose this, where to find the fuse that control the power cell because from the look of this, it appears um, is a four cylinder uh, four seven. That's what you four seven with four cylinder engine that use electronic power cell pump. So, which is controlled by the fuse box. So, which I probably explained in the video, and he, he realized that when he has now saw that the issue was from the fuse box, not the power selling pump, he has gone and changed uh, and didn't solve the problem. So, more like wasted the money. Unless maybe he got the old one back. Anyway, so that's for this one. Uh, what next? How to start and run a Pojo code in GNFI. Okay, this is one of the videos I did. So this is from Strato Attic A. Strato Attic A. Um, it says, hello, I've been driving uh, Pojo 607 with uh, EW12J4 engine for about four years. Uh, code start has been minus 27 Celsius. So it means um, probably you live in Europe. Somewhere, I don't know. 
Oh, I don't know. There is not in Nigeria because you can't get this kind of uh, weather here. Um, so he said coldest has, has been uh, minus 27 Celsius degree Celsius. Uh, so it uh, starts strongly. Uh, when engine is cold, I always drive car slowly and let the gearbox run every gear slowly before accelerating fast. Thank you for your content. Yes, um, yeah, I think that's what I one of the things I mentioned on this video: how to start and run a Pojo code engine. You know, um, you start, you be gen you you know, you are be gentle on the throttle pedal. In other words, your engine. You know, if you see people immediately that they, they will wake up in the morning, the first time they are cracking their engine, as the engine is, is, is quite starting, they are pushing the throttle almost to the floor. Some even as they are starting the engine, they are even holding the pedal. So as soon as they are holding the throttle pedal, the, as the engine is coming uh, alive, immediately the RPM is shooting close to red zone. You know, killing their engines, only for them to look for where to go and type, check it, check it, check it, check it. Uh, Pojo engines are not reliable. Pojo, uh, my mechanic is killing my engine, uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you know, it's always someone's fault. You know, so engines are... Uh, uh, um, Lifespan of uh, Pojo engines are dependent on uh, the cooling system, engine cooling system. You know, because the engine cooling system, that means um, the temperature of the engine oil. You know, so and the temperature of the engine oil determines how uh, good the oil flows, with, you know, to protect the engine, flow inside the engine while the engine is running. So that's why when the engine Coolant temperature is cold, start the engine, don't put the engine high because at that time the oil is not yet at, at uh, 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 form. You could say use that word, it's not in the form to protect your engine better. So be very careful as to well, how you touch your throttle pedal. You know, if you push it that hard, what happens is friction. So that the oil to lubricate to you know to prevent that friction from happening, you just you grind your engine as you do that. So um, so in this case, I followed the uh, you know he is giving a testimony to what I said in the video. In, in this case, in regards to the gearbox, automatic gearbox, as uh, when the temperature is that cold. Remember, for pressure engines, the um, the coolant also control the ATF temperature, just like engine oil. So uh, when the oil is that cold, ATF, uh, automatic transmission fluid in the automatic gearbox is very cold. At first start, first cold start, the gearbox doesn't perform well. You could see, you know, so um, you have to be driving it slowly, you know, so that engine will heat up. And then heat up the coolant, coolant will heat up the ATF, the ATF and the gearbox will not perform better. So I believe people also have learned from this, especially from automatic gearbox users. You know, this is a testimony from someone, so learn from him as well. Um, I know people do that a lot. Next thing they start the car, enter the road, they put the throttle down to the floor and hold it. So, uh, you know, and they tell you, my car is. Uh, is intact. You are wrecking your engine, wrecking your automatic gearbox. Uh, so, uh, moving on. So this is uh, um, a comment on the on a video I did. I think uh, I did this. Uh, yeah, listen to it. I think last month or two months ago about my Pojo five hundred five. Uh, this is that I changed the rear brake pad. You know, just uh, to talk about. Uh, the bad part got one, and I put another one, change it myself. I didn't even bother to take the workshop. And uh, this is from Nedo Frank. Uh, so his comment says, uh, Pojos are so maintenance heavy. That's a very ignorant statement to make. People like you shouldn't near any Pojo car, honestly. If you want to go to other Pojo vehicles uh, that are so maintenance light, right? I don't want to, how do I put it? You know, the ones that you buy, uh, uh, the brake pad will last you 50 years. Yeah, you, you are supposed to change your brake pad, but they don't wear. Those are those other brands that uh, probably you, 
you prefer go to them you talk like somebody that doesn't even own a car or know what it's like to own a vehicle because if you are looking at a brake pad that ah i did a video i showed that i just changed my rear brake pads and to you it's 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 uh um you know why would i why would it be so consuming to to maintain a car a pojo car why in other words why would i have to be changing brake pads on a pojo car why should you wear wear out you know so that's a very ignorant statement and people like you shouldn't hear any pojo vehicle honestly because uh, if you can't even fathom the idea of changing brake pads or that is is part of the wear and tear in a vehicle uh, you, any part of your vehicle you touch is probably may not last you a month because you are, you are just going to uh, abuse it uh, uh, mercilessly. You know, I mean, you, you probably wouldn't even bother changing engine oil because the engine oil is supposed to last the last time of the vehicle. So why change engine oil? Just keep using it until you, are, you decide to change the car. Anyway, uh, moving on. <coughs> um. This is a comment uh, to, okay, a uh, post I, I published on my YouTube as well. Uh, I think I went to Mobile Fuel Station to buy uh, uh, engine oil for a THP engine. Uh, that was this uh, total HTC file that was not available, so I went to buy the equivalent uh, of Mobile One at Mobile. So I now saw um a mobile equivalent of uh, uh 5w50 that is recommended to b b712296 recommended for pojo engines as well as well so i now posted it you know people who are not aware to also use this one which is even cheaper than that of pojo not that of total um 5w40 okay so this is from uh chidi uche so the comment is, uh, I use this oil, haven't had leakages on my Pojo 307 Phase 2 TU, TUP engine with 104,000 miles. I think Total is recommended because it's French, same as Pojo. That's also a very ignorant statement. I know a lot of people make these uh, statements uh, to me, just show how ignorant they are. I mean, uh, I don't expect everybody to be an expert of um, you know vehicles but then you know sometimes so there are some things you hear be like come on that, that was the time i was a novice but i, I knew i wasn't as ignorant i i could tell how many i mean it's been years now i've been doing all sorts of publication pub, uh, published you know showing uh what you know how what how to choose engine oil for your vehicle. Saying Pojo did not say it must be total. Pojo says this is the oil certification, which you find in most total oil. Which you also could find in other oil. Remember, I went to a mobile station. In fact, sometimes people always say it apply your logic in whatever you do or say or even think about. I just this is a post I talked about going to, to, to mobile to buy a mobile oil for a TSP engine. And yes, you are saying Pojo uh, is uh, total is just uh, a propaganda for Pojo or what? I don't even understand. I mean, Pojo says buy this, look for this certification and buy. If it's total fine, if it's mobile fine, if it's uh, liquid molly fine, I don't get that. But also understand something because that's what you talk. When they are companies, they partner with others. Maybe because if you're not ignorant, you understand that there are a specific total oil that total specifically produced for Pojo engines only. That's when you talk about when you talk about partnership. That's what I'm they came and said, you know what? This particular engine, can you produce oil for it for us? And they produce it and the manufacturer, I'm talking about total and I say, this particular oil, aside every other oil we produce, this is for only this particular Pojo engine. 
No other brand of uh, vehicle certify the oil. Say or use it for no. There is only Pojo that certify the oil, and they produce it only for them. Oh, so now it's bad to use that oil because uh, it's. Uh, to, 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 I mean, people, man, come on, use your brain. There are some other oils that po total produce that were also certified by other ma car manufacturer. We those manufacturer recommends, even though they are total oil. You know, so I don't know. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's so ignorant. Many people make all this uh, stupid statement and say, oh, but you recommend total because uh, it's French company. So they are just uh, trying to patronize them. Uh, I mean, come on, if you're online, you should be able to learn some things. You don't need to. Because this is a beer parlor statement. That's what I'm saying. There's nothing wrong in not knowing. You know that sometimes when I see some of these statements, I'm like, ah, even up to now, even all with this, my publication, trying to explain. Ah, I don't know. Okay, um, again, on Best uh, on best Bojo 307 for Oba. Okay, this is one of the videos I did. Uh, so this um, uh, posts a comment from random videos by Chan Sabite. Um, I have a 307 automatic. The only problem I have been experiencing is that after a long time, I start uh, experiencing hard shift. I later discovered that one of the wires usually rusts and is covered with carbons. Uh, so after I clean it and tie it again, the gear starts working normally. This has been going on for a long time and usually happens like monthly. I don't know what to do to stop that particular wire from rusting. Um, what I don't know from what uh, you just said here is uh, wire, which wire? Engine wiring harness, gearbox wiring harness, dashboard wiring harness. Uh, uh, that's the thing. You are not specific. You didn't say, okay, uh, okay, maybe you wouldn't know which wire. Maybe it's for the gearbox or something. But okay, um, let's assume whichever wire it is, uh, it doesn't, maybe it doesn't actually matter. Because the most important thing is that it's affecting the the gearbox, so it's, uh, which is automatic gearbox, and it's not working well. When uh, according to you, the wire rust. Um, I don't know what you mean by is it the the connectors? Because uh, that's what I could think of. Is it the connectors that you are saying wire? That's wiring connectors. By connector, I mean the wiring plug. Or what normally locally call uh, wire uh, sockets, it's wiring connector, wiring plug, you know. Um, if that is the case, um, if it has lost it that badly, the current one on the car, um, probably the solution would be to change that uh, connector. Look for easier match, cut. Join soda, whatever, and the issue goes away uh, because if it's rusting, if it has rusted, probably uh, the rust it has already eaten it all. So, even if you clean up, it still reappears. Uh, that is if it's for a wiring connector that we are talking about. Um, yeah, look for that same connector, you know, cut and join, do it properly. Don't a uh, mistake people usually make is. They bring a wire, a connector that has about uh, seven wires behind it, you know, numbered on each of the holes that the number, the wires enter. They will just put a prior or knife or whatever, cut all the wires as they go. And they bring the good connector that they want to put, and then they will now get confused. Oh, where did this wire come from? Which hole did it enter? And then start doing cut uh tire, oh it could be this, it could be this one, it could be this hole, it could be that hole. You know. No, you have to do one after the other. When you remove it from a pin one or hole one, cut it off from that hole. You go to the uh hole one of the other connector you want to put, cut and join, do you know, before you go to the next hole. So I won't mistakenly take while I'm supposed to enter hole one and put in hole two. On the new connector, so 
that is if it's for the connector because you're saying um, I don't know because that's the only thing that makes sense. Wire, if you say wire rust, uh, I don't understand why you clean wire, rusted wire, and they will start working again. Because what I would have suggested, if truly what you are referring to is a wire itself, I said cut it and join, put a fresh wire or a good wire. Because if you know where it was, stress to the point where there's no rust on it. Measure, check the measurement, get another good wire that is the same length. Cut, join it from the other end, then join from where the rust happened and solve the problem. You know, but I want to believe what you meant was a wiring connector based on. You know, as a technician, that's what should be. You know, those pins inside the connectors, they, they tend to rust. Sometimes they could even break. However, I could also find out what, was make, what made it to rust. Is it that water is touching it that place? You may have to move the connector if that is the case from there to prevent water from touch entering it. Or maybe cover it with something, plastic leather, or anything that you know that will prevent water from entering it, you know, uh, and do it safely. Don't do it in such a way that it could be vulnerable for the vehicle to, you know, cause problem for you, you know. So that's what I'm saying. So if it's, you find out why, what made it, or is it just natural death? Um, if it's something is water is entering it and make it uh, move it, make you know, make it do it such a way that it doesn't rust the new one you're going to put. Okay, um, meanwhile, there are things you could do to also prevent rust, uh, especially you could spray in, um, what's it, what's this thing called? WT40 WT can prevent rust. Uh, yeah, it can. It can spray. What are that things? I think basically WT40. I don't know if you know that thing. The other electronic uh, fluid that when you spray it, it can actually prevent rust. Uh, I don't know the names of it. No. I could start with this one I mentioned. The other thing that WT40 eventually it will, it, will, it will dry off. It's oily, you know. It can ask as we be a little bit, let I see dry off. Um, well, still better, at least, however how long it takes to happen. It could be doing that. Uh, moving on. Okay, this is a video I did on uh, Pojo 607. So, uh, this is from Oluwa Toyin Jegede. Uh, the person posted, uh, manual transmission is in Lagos traffic. Um, in other words, um, trying to say uh, driving manual transmission uh, in Lagos is a terrible idea because um, it's stressful. Driving, in other words, driving manual is, is, is very stressful. I could say that's a very ignorant statement as well. Very, I mean, that is, that is ignorant. You know, like I said, this is all this a beer parlor statement. That's all I could say. I mean, come on, this is a project system. Have you even the real one? Because that's what I'm saying. That is, you see people who are so ignorant and um, self experience of what they are talking about. They will come on and be telling you uh, they are the, you know, uh, um, this uh, expert doesn't know what he's talking about. I, uh, even though you, have, <laughs> you that claims to know better have never seen the car key. Or even I thought, probably you could see it online, but probably I never touched one in, in real life, let alone drive one. And yet, you know so much about what the person is talking about. You know, so, I and drive one one day, see how soft uh, uh, a manual pedal of 607. All of them, not just the V6, the E12, the EW10, they are all very soft. I mean, you could barely feel depressing your pedal. It's as if, uh, in fact, I don't know how to do it. There's not even much. The pressure you apply in pressing throttle pedal, you just a small pressure you apply to uh, to to the 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 clutch pedal. 
So, are you not saying driving in traffic, a person throw to bed, uh, is, if, if the other one that takes almost similar pressure on your leg is, is, is uh, 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 very hectic or very strenuous, then why are you driving at all? Since you probably will be doing, doing the same thing with throttle pedal. So uh, people are just that ignorant. If you have never driven 607 to know how hard or heavy the throttle pedal, the clutch pedal is. Why make that kind of statement where you know nothing about it? You know. The only time this uh, clutch pedal will become heavy is when there's an issue, an issue with the, uh, uh, the clutch kit. One of the clutch kits, maybe the release bearing, maybe the pleasure, clutch pressure plate, or one of the, even the, even the brake fluid can cause it. I think I've done a video on that. If your brake fluid stays too long, you know, well, people who don't know, uh, for Project 607, is the brake fluid that controls the clutch system. So, so I know some of us they what's called what's the business of uh, brake fluid with the clutch system? Yeah, it's the brake fluid. So uh, maybe you should go and le uh, learn on that. Or you could pay. I'll teach you how to why I say so. Anyway, so it's brake fluid. So if your brake fluid, if you leave it for years without changing it, the way you know the way I also recommend you should be changing your brake fluid or your braking. Uh, braking system component. You should also do the same on your clutch kit. They do it in such a way you, you remove them. The same way you remove it on the brake carapace. You do it from the uh, 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 slave cylinder. So after a long time, if you don't do it, your brake pe your clutch pedal will become heavy because of that old expired brake fluid or hydraulic. So you need to flush it, remove it, so a fresh one will enter. It becomes soft again. That's what I'm saying. You know, people really just don't know, uh, just lack ignorance or, or lack uh, this information. You know, they just make statements. Of course, online, everybody is an expert anyway. So, on every subject. Um, no point even trying to elaborate this. So, it's very wrong to say uh, driving 6 or 7 in Lego. You know, I don't know your, the circle of people who mingle with in Lego, but I know a lot of people. They also drive mama cars, as in full mama cars in Lagos. One of them has called me to say it was a mistake they made. One of them has called me to say I'm in hospital, please raise money for me to, 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 to cure my hepatitis or they want to cut off my leg because of issues that came up driving mama in Lagos. There are other people I know too that drive mama cars in Lagos of other brand of vehicle, not even Poju. It wasn't like a gift. They they gifted them. No, they went and purchased this car by themselves. Intentionally chose the, that manual one. Some even have other cars that are automatic, but also say, okay, I still also need this man. I know other people. I know two of three people that owns only that manual and they live in Lagos. I know three people that use manual Pojo cars for Uber boat in Lagos. This is not private that you only drive to work and uh, in the evening, you drive back home. No, constantly on the road driving manual. I mean, people stop getting been to. Uh, sometimes when men say some of these things, you just keep wondering this generation says. If you like automatic, go for it. There's nothing wrong with it. They just don't make ignorant statements that uh, driving manual cars is very strenuous. I mean, we, what was the last time you drove a Pojo manual car? The one produced 1950, or the one produced uh, five years ago. And you are comparing, you are thinking that the, the same, it will be the same. That the cost pedal will be the same way the, the 504 or 404 was. How many years? Decades ago, not even years. Just, uh, like I say, just an ignorant statement. Be a palo statement, if I would say. Um... Okay, uh, this is from Vincent Daniel. Uh, it reads, uh, Hello, Ikenna. Is, is it possible to interchange air uh, for Pojo automatic transmission with a more reliable automatic transmission? 
Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, see, anything is possible. You know, anything is possible. Looking at this, I mean, right right ahead, I I can tell you uh, from right now. I I'm not looking at. I don't see. I'm not seeing the possibility. But it doesn't mean it's not possible. Because everybody was saying the same thing about uh, converting uh, Z9 VCs to manual. That is not, it was not pos going to be possible. Even at that time, I wasn't seeing it clearly. I was not as in, I looked at the system and realized that, I mean, it wasn't supposed to be possible. But I made it possible. I did mine. Like I said, I'm probably the only person in the whole world right now, in the whole world, if I ever seen beginning to now to date, that was able to convert a Pojo 607 V6 phase 2 from automatic to manual. Not that every other technicians cannot do it. But probably they looked at this, ah, man, I don't want to go through that. Because it wasn't a program play conversion. A lot of things have to go in. You have to research. You have to find because you, it's not like, oh, if you remove everything from this guy to fit it, no. You have to figure out, okay, this one can't match. You have to, or maybe the one from the other model cannot match this. Which other car can I pick that can match? Then this is where it even matters, the electrical pattern. Because these are cars that are electrically controlled by, the mechanicals are electrically controlled. So same goes with your this air for because these are this automatic gearbox is electrical control. So the electronics, the wiring system, the the entire system of the vehicle is designed to work with all the air for. So if you are bringing another gearbox, which has its own different ECU, own wiring connection, different from the forces. I mean. You have to factor it in. How do you make the electronics to work, the electrical to work with the, this gearbox, even if it can fit in on the engine? So it's possible. I mean, you need to go online. You see people doing crazy conversions that can't even imagine that it will be possible. So it's possible. It can be done. But that's what, this is one thing that matters, especially when you in Nigeria. Are you willing to financially do it? Because most times I would say 95, if not 98% of people who always uh, show interest, oh, I want to convert a car, I want to do a project. When you actually get to what it takes to make that happen, they all shy away. They say, oh, how can you spend this uh, exorbitant amount just for this? What? Yeah, it goes. If I tell you now that what you had, what you just uh, suggested or wanted to find out on this particular post may cost you about two to three million naira, <laughs> what would you say? You say Mac again. How? Why should I? Who? Who? Who is in his right mind will spend that kind of money on a four six just to have a different uh, model of a gearbox? What? Those of us that do it, you don't do it because uh, uh, there, there, there are no other better options. We do it because that's our passion. So even though we know that if you are going to use your head, you don't, it won't make sense to spend that kind of money on that same vehicle, the money that probably could have gotten you another vehicle in good condition, maybe even better condition. Or even if it doesn't get, you could use on something else, maybe invest or something that yield more money for you. But we'll do it because, like I said, passion is passion. It burns through you like hell. As in, if you are not doing it, it's like uh, something is terribly wrong with, you, with your life. So doing it is the only way for it. Like you could cope to live because your happiness depends on it. That's, that's what I mean by passion. I don't know. How, sometimes I can't even explain it. It's just who you are. You do it because, I mean... This is you, even though no other person understand. So that's what I mean by this type of conversion. It's not plug and play, so it's going to be a costly a project. You take time, take money, because whoever that will do it has to, <laughs> you have to be knowledgeable enough to figure it out. If you do cut and join, anyhow, boom, boom, boom. 
That will be the end of the car. Like I said, 406 says, let the car be controlled. Not as much as 407, but of course, as far as the automatic gearbox and engine are concerned, you can't put it and expect the engine to work without the gearbox. Electronic car. Alright, so. And there are other models uh, you could put. There's a, there's a particular uh, gearbox uh, they do mount on SU10J4R. Those ones in D8. I think they were saying um, I had those on don't have uh, ECU. That's what they said. I've never seen one. Maybe that one might be a better option. I don't know how good it is. They say it doesn't have ECU. So, um, possible that could be the one, but like I said, it's an older gearbox, so the shifting is going to be harsh. You know, the newer the gearbox, the smoother and the better the shift to the point that you might not even know that your gearbox is changing. But those older ones, I mean, you need to drive a 505 ECS automatic. <laughs> Every shifting, as it's up shifting and down shifting, man, your, 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 what is it called? Your back, you will be feeling every boom. It's not like making boom all the time, but man, you will know your your gear is changing. You know, it's very harsh, very harsh. You know, so um, is that the what you want? Maybe you could go for it. Ask uh, the gearbox specialist; they will understand that one. It means you have to go backward, not uh, forward, to get gearbox that can match your EW ten J four. So that uh, it won't have electronic control. Oh, so you will work with it. Okay. That's all I can say here. Uh, I think uh, that is it for this particular video. Okay, so um, whenever I, there are still more questions, uh, but uh, for now, these are the ones I could take. So if I have time, I go to it. And uh, so you could post. Uh, if you come across a video, you look at the subject. If it, it can, has answer, if you think it has answer to your question, watch it. Even if it doesn't have any answer, you, you never know what because if it's thirty minutes, forty minutes, of course it can't be the only. T Most of the things I will say in that video could even cover some things that are not actually related to that subject. You could learn, you know. So about sharing, you know. Putting out this knowledge, no matter how small or big or whatever, I just flow it. You know, I learn from other people as well, so there's nothing wrong from for people to learn from me. So that's how I put it. In my own way, if you want your own way, go do it your own way. You know, if you want to be doing all your videos, because I know some of my videos, some less than a minute, some. Five minutes, some ten, some or even up to one hour, you know. So I do it my own way. Do it your own way, you know. Do yours. If you want to criticize or comment, everybody has a, uh, the, the same right or opportunity to open a YouTube channel and run your own uh, videos, you know. So I don't see why are you criticizing, commenting, bitching about somebody else when you can go and do exactly what you're complaining of. Go there and create your own channel and start talking about Pojo and tell, uh, share your own way. If it's the only one, you know. So, I do the ones I want to talk about long, I do. I flow. The one I want to do a minute, I do. The most important thing is the learn what, you know, grab those information, which you probably may never get any elsewhere. Anyway, so that is it.